All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, we are going to be doing a buff Theomars showcase. In the last balance patch, Theomars got a buff that makes it when he gets his Endure passive proc, he gains an attack power buff for two turns. So today, we're going to be taking a look at that. We're going to be trying him out mainly in Siege. I have been doing some RTA matches with him that I will share with you guys, but I will say he has been banned so much since this balance patch has dropped. Like, I think I've done maybe, what, 17 or so matches. I've played with him, like, maybe four times, four or five matches of that. It was a bit hard to get some good RTA matches, but I do have a couple fun ones I want to share with you. First, we're going to go through the runes. If you've already seen my original Theomar showcase, you do already know these stats. They haven't changed since, but for any new viewers who want to see, this is my Theomars. We've got a lot of attack speed. Max crit rate on him is 85%. He gains the extra 15 from his element passive and we have some crit damage on him so we have his slot six here which is a hero rune that went three times into speed we have his slot one here which i believe is a legendary rune twice into crit rate twice into speed we have this attack percentage slot two more hero stat wise but then we have this slot three which is the only rune where i have any accuracy on him <laughs> i haven't really been prioritizing accuracy on him i really just wanted to rune him up fully for damage the extra 15% does help with his defense break sometimes. And we have his crit damage rune here. Just a lot of stats overall. This one is also a legend rune. All the damage stats the Umars needs is pretty much all we go for. The attack, crit rate, crit damage, and speed is all I was really going for for the Umars. He's a glass cannon, at least how I like to use him. I have seen some tankier builds. But we go full glass cannon and just hope to snipe things, really. Then we have his artifacts. This artifact here, I have something better on him and for RTA. And this artifact here, I think he has better RTA artifacts, honestly. But I do like to rune him up with uh, attack power proportion to lost HP. Speed is nice, too, for the extra damage because Theomar scales off attack power and speed. But especially now that he gets attack buff when he's low, attack proportion to lost HP gets a lot of value out of that. Okay, so I thought we'd do a quick damage test because why not? Uh, I have to use Konamiya here because apparently this Galleon was slower than my Theomars. So let's do skill one. We have 79,000 damage on these. Very, very nice. And then skill two here is going to be how much? Was that 30? to a hit. Did I see that correctly? <laughs> Some nice, nice damage here. And the reason why I'm putting attack buff on Heath Theo is so we can see, you know, when he gets his passive proc, that'll be what he gets for two turns. All right, so this is gonna be the team we are using him with. It's my favorite team to use Theo Myers with. We have the Water Inugami. I have him ruined very differently for uh, Guild War and Siege. He is actually on an attack slot four, if we can get to it. <laughs> I have him this way because you do not need any more defense than what he has. I think he has a little bit more defense for three-man team-up. It's somewhere past uh, plus 1,700. I don't remember the exact number. It might be around the 50 mark, but I do have a bit more defense than he needs. And I, I have him ruined up like this because we don't need more than three team-up. I can put the stats in extra attack percentage, and it, it kind of lets him do damage. It's actually not bad. And then we have our Orion here. who has my second best quad speed rune at 34 speed. My best being a 35 speed rune, if you're curious. Okay, so we're gonna go into this. We're gonna try to outspeed and snipe. I will definitely be taking this team into dangerous comps today, probably ones I wouldn't normally attack as much because I really wanna see Theomars get to his endure level. So I just, I wanna see that attack power increase. We almost took out Sierra there. I probably, I could have teamed up Sierra and just took her out right away. But, you know, I did see a kill off on Perna. All right, Perna's out of the way. We unfortunately did not get to see the attack power increase. We, we get the idea of how this team works. All right, so we're going to try to hit something a bit more risky this time. We have Savannah that we have to deal with. She's going to be pretty hard to snipe. We do outspeed the Orion, and we stunned, which is really great. So we can go ahead and focus her. I'm going to make sure she dismounts now so she can't defense break us. 
and she switched targets. <laughs> okay, unfortunately, she slows us. Um, all right, Orion doesn't go. We do have defense break. I'm going to try to... What do we do here? So Theomars dies next. We're going to make sure Kamun shields are gone. Maybe I should have killed Savannah. Oh, we proc. Okay, okay, come back RNG. We'll do our team up, and that does take out the Savannah. Wonderful. <laughs> Very wonderful. Now we perma control this Orion. This this team is very RNG heavy. <laughs> Usually I like to go reliable comms, but it is really fun to play around with. All right, so why don't we try to hit uh, Theomars Riley Perna? We'll hit a Theomars of our own. <laughs> I think it might work. It's going to be hard because we can't snipe Theomars. Well, hold on. <laughs> if we get defense break on Riley, I'm just going to try to snipe her right off the bat. Look at these Theomars procs. Well, he only procced once. Just looks like he procced a lot because we have the <laughs> Akaru team up. All right, we are going to get Endure on this Theomars. He's going to activate our Endure. And now for big damage, we should have... Nope. All right, but we do snipe Perna here. 30k with attack buff. And this is without speed buff. In my RTAA comp, we have Wayne to give speed buff, so Theo hits pretty hard. All right, let's go with a bit of a tankier comp. We have Molong, Molly, Wind Bison. I think I'm just going to try to take Molly out right away. Oh, that's so unfortunate. The glancing. We glanced. Wow, we, we glanced three out of four hits there. Oh, very nice proc. Let's... Nice, so we crit Molly, we take out Molong, and we proc again. <laughs> Violent runes, guys. And we counter. I love it. Okay, this was a super RNG match. Wow. All right, we're going to try to hit Chandra, Purna, Light Kung Fu Girl. And we'll see how it goes. I do believe we outspeed very nice. Oh, we didn't land defense break, which really sucks for us. Maybe we can snipe the Kung Fu Girl. Okay, very good. Let's go ahead. We're just going to work on Chandra because he's going to hug Perna. Oh, very nice proc into S3 here. <laughs> Are we even going to get the chance to get Endure on Theo? I'm glad he didn't stun me. <laughs> All right, does it do more damage if I hit? <laughs> it did more damage. Me hitting Perna does more damage. <laughs> I thought that was kind of funny. We did get stunned, though. Oh, wonderful proc out of that. So let's see this big damage on Chandra. Okay, 18k a hit, and now we can control Perna. And then we team up again, which I believe at this point, Theomars now has Endure back up. <laughs> which is also why, and we counter the kill to Perna. Man, so this is why I really like the cycling of this team with team up. Okay, so I don't have too much confidence hitting this. This is either really going to work or it's not. But it's Dominic, Molly, Theomars. So let's see if we can get a good... So we got a good defense break. Let's go ahead and just get Molly out of the way. Okay. Maybe we hit Dominic here. So we didn't get him below. This is going to be enough to take him out, actually. So if I defense break here, <laughs> we get to watch Dominic get popped. 45k, not bad. And then we can control Theomars. Or I mean he procs out and hits us. Incoming, I get soloed by Theomars. <laughs> no, all right. Orion, Orion says no to that. Okay, and then we, we do successfully strip. There we go. So that actually did work. Okay, I don't think there's any way we're sniping this. But we're going to play a risky game here. We're going to see. <laughs> We definitely have to dismount this uh, Beast Rider. So now she can't uh, defense break to just nuke me. Oh, that's a despair totem. Um, what do we want to hit here? I don't really think I can kill. So I can't kill anything. 
So unless I choose to hit the Totemist, oh, it's not even going to be enough. Oh, we do proc. Okay, okay. So we have Totemist is down. Well, revived. But now we can take out this uh, Beast Rider here. We'll hit the Totemist, then we'll hit the Beast Rider. <laughs> and look at that. Okay, so they, they didn't take uh, Theomars down, but we did win, which is the goal. Okay, I see Chandra, Wind Panda, and the Water Macaroon Guard, whatever it's called, who just got a buff. I really want this unit to play around with. So come to us. If you see this, give me one. <laughs> can, we, can, we, can we get some uh, some YouTuber luck? I'm going to be doing summons at some point soon. I definitely want to play around with it now. Oh, look at that. It doesn't stun us, but... Okay, it doesn't... <laughs> the passive didn't activate at all. Okay. But it's actually a uh, very solid unit now. I think it's very similar to a defense base for Khan, as one of my guildies have said before. And we have Fire Beast Monk, Dark Panda Molly. I want to say we can just cleave this. We might just take the panda out right away. Oh, we do. Okay, panda got uh, popped. We do glance. We had some nice procs from Orion here. Oh, Chandra actually cleansing my defense breaks. Not Chandra, sorry. Uh, was it Kumar? I haven't seen a Fire Beast Monk in a good while. <laughs> I don't know how meta he is on defense anymore. All right, we, we do pop the Molly there. Okay, another team we can potentially snipe with this is the Odin Dranko. Uh, fiery free comps, which I know we defense broke the uh, Tassarian, but we are gonna snipe Odin because he is the biggest threat right now. Oh, we got Oblivion. Why do you have to focus? <laughs> of all things, let's just take him out. Ooh, what if I do this? <laughs> We'll hit Draco, so now... Ah, oh, okay, he's gonna die to dots. I wanted him to hit my Theomars. Okay, we'll try to hit the Moon Bestet Odin comp. This works if we're able to snipe Odin here. Which is gonna be the goal. If we cannot snipe him, this gets very dangerous. Because otherwise, he's gonna take out one of the units. Okay, I'm going to skill 2 to get defense break. And then, oh, is Theomar just going to glance? I really hope he doesn't glance all three hits, but he procs. Okay. Okay. Violent runes have my back today. All right, we'll hit the Bestet. We'll go ahead and team up, take out Bestet. We didn't have enough defense for both. But that's okay. That's what we needed. All right, let's see if uh, Dominic Perna Nana is gonna give us trouble, it probably will. Now with the Dominic nerfs, I wanna see if I can just, if I can just snipe him and he's below 50, he's not gonna to do too much damage, right? So even though he comes back with Nana passive, we kill him, we, we proc and, and kill him. <laughs> oh, we proc and kill them all, okay. <laughs> you know, uh, Theomar's in a nutshell, everybody. That's kind of just how it is. Maybe I'll uh, hit it again just to see if we don't proc. Because I, I think I was correct. Uh, Dominic reviving with Nana. He isn't going to do very much damage now. Now we will take out Dominic this time. And let's see him revive. Oh, that despair stun's bad. But look at that. Okay. <laughs> That was only, that was 4.5k. Normally he would have done like 9,000. All right, the Despair Stone was really bad on me, on me though. I think my Orion's about to go, oh, he switches targets. 
Oh, but Perna really crits my water Ikaru. I love that. <laughs> I love that for me. I got wrecked. <laughs> That's what I get. So they gave me a taste of my own medicine with some procs there. All right, we're going to try to hit Chandra, Nora, and Savannah here. We need to snipe Savannah right off the bat before she can wreck us. And then we'll have to worry about, or we could just despair stun. So since we despair stunned, we're going to switch targets to Nora. And then we... Wow. <laughs> that was a very good opener for us. Now that was not good. Let's go ahead and try to hope we get our S3 up to remove that hug. Ah, Chandra already has that attack back up. All right, we're going to see hopefully some big damage on Chandra here. Is this enough to snipe him? 38k, very nice. We proc back into Hidden Savannah. And then we proc once again to take her out, which we would have endure back up. That's why I like violent runes on Theomars. It's very fun. Okay, maybe we can try this. We have Dominic, Beta, and Perna. We're going to try to hit Dominic. See if we can take him out early. Oh, we landed the defense break, which means he just dies. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he just dies. Can we take out this beta with our S2 alone? We can't, but oh my goodness. What is my RNG this video? I guess this is just Guild Wars and Siege in a nutshell, but... Okay, so we're going to go even riskier. We have more Savannah cocky. They might be able to just cleave me straight up. We'll try to take out Savannah. Okay, luckily we don't get to spare stuns. How much damage does Cocky do? Oh, wow. Wow, more. <laughs> no, did I lose? Okay, come on. Come on, you can't do that to me twice in a row. You cannot do that to me twice in a row. Let's go ahead and team up. We'll use Ikaru to hit here. It's possible they can still recover. We can still recover from this. I think we recovered from it, actually. <laughs> Look at that. What was that back-to-back -back despair stun on the Theomars, though? Like, come on, it's supposed to be a Theomar showcase. But very good example of why we're an attack on Ikaru, so he still does damage when things go wrong. Okay, we can try Kamun Light Druid Savannah. This one's going to be gross because Light Druid is just disgusting. Very amazing strip into stun. Orion doing work. You know, Orion doesn't always work, but when he does, is it nice? <laughs> Let's try to defense break. Wow. So we did defense break successfully. I think this just kills then. Into a violent proc. Can we take out Kamun? Oh, we resisted our stun. But we did take everything else out, so I don't think we're getting soloed by the druid here. We should be able to control. <laughs> Though I have seen light druid solo teams before. My team included. It's gross. So we have our first match today, which is going to be... <laughs> I'll be doing my RTA comp. They tried to contest me with speed. They have a pretty heavy CC cleave and Pontos, which is always a pain. <laughs> um, so we do outspeed for this, and we use Orion to luckily strip the Pontos and defense break so we can take him out right away. And then Wind Robo didn't have Will Rune, so we snipe him with the Omars. And now we start to get controlled by the Okeanos and Water Ryu. Now, unfortunately, he had to reset my Theomars, so I can't even show off his buff here. <laughs> but it is a Theomars match. And we had set a nice kill from Wayne. I definitely want to emphasize, I probably said it earlier in this video, um, Theomars got banned a lot when I tried to play around with him today. <laughs> Okay, so we had this comp where they really tried to draft a very tanky revenge comp. They're going Artemil, Wind Monkey, Water Macaroon. We have the buffed Water Macaroon here. I'm definitely banning Wind Monkey because Wind Monkey counter stuns are 
the bane of my existence. So we do get to see some of the new newly buffed water macaroon. Very excited to see her played out. <laughs> now luckily we can defense break the Artemil right away, so we snipe him right off the bat. And then it's going to be a lot of us <laughs> having to deal with uh, Molly sustain, waiting till we can get an opportunity to snipe something. Unfortunately our defense break gets resisted, but we do get the counter to get it back up. Now the damage from the macaroons honestly pretty nice. Like I, I think it's solid bruiser damage. And we do have her stunned up. Which I don't actually know if her passive Does her passive still work when she's stunned? Maybe she doesn't counter, but will she will she still block the damage? Because I don't actually know. If you guys know about that, do let me know in the comments. Though, we, we unfortunately, we do just straight up kill the Macaroon without her getting to do any counters. <laughs> okay, and now we have this comp, which <laughs> nerfed uh, Oliver first pick. He's still just as gross, but <laughs> does a little bit less damage as the match goes on. So, we're both competing for first turn here. They actually outspeed me, but they can only reset one booster, so we still have Wayne going. If they were going to try to outspeed, they should reset both boosters here. So we do snipe the Light Monkey. We, got, we actually did get some ignore defense from Wayne. And then Theomars snipes the Water Ryu before it can do anything. So now we, have, we basically just whittle down the... Wind Art Master in the Sekhmet is not too useful now at this point. But we take out the Wind Art Master and it's pretty much GG after that. And one more big hit from Theomars. Okay, so this match was amazing. <laughs> I, I really like this match. We're trying to do a Theomar showcase, and I don't want to spoil anything, but this match was not a Theomar showcase. <laughs> this one was a just a really great match. So we start off missing crit, minus 15% chance, but we have enough damage in our comp that we can still take out the unicorn anyway. And now they decide to go for the water demon first. Which I don't know. I, I don't know if that's really the target, but if they did leave him alone, he'd cycle back up his S2. So now things aren't looking too good, but we get a good defense break. He reckless assaults Theomars, which leaves Wayne open to just RNG chain fire. <laughs> and we have another team up. And look, if you didn't see that damage there, that is Theomars damage with attack buff and Wayne proccing ignore defense skill one completely snipes the Molong there really nice so it was a this one was kind of a Wayne spotlight all right and then last match for us <laughs> I don't have too many because once again uh, Theomars got banned quite often but we have a bit of an LD comp here I do ban Neftis because I don't want her to AoE defense break silence my team so we do outspeed and I believe, what do we go for? So we get a stun on the surfer. So we go for the dark ninja. We try to snipe Tiana because we proc. Now, unfortunately, we activate defense break on the last hit, which means we don't actually get any benefit from that defense break. And look at this. We fail to kill Tiana. So we get the defense break on the surfer and... <laughs> Not only do we proc, we do it with the attack buff. So that was uh, an attack broken Theomars, but with attack buff. So it counters out. We did about 30k a hit on that surfer. And now this, <laughs> this gets really close. Orion in Akaru against the Water Ryu. Just look how close this match gets. Luckily, we didn't get to spare stun, which means we take him out with the final hit. We were one hit away. <laughs> 
It was a really close match. But all right, guys, that is going to be it for our buffed Theo Mars showcase. Do let me know what you guys think about his buff in the comments down below. It's not a major buff. This was more of a slight adjustment that really makes him dangerous when he gets into her. I think it's definitely going to make him stronger. It was hard for me to show it in this video, I think, for the most part. Because, <laughs> you know, we need enemies to hit him to get him down to 1 HP. And with at least with my comp, I'm trying to snipe things before it's possible. So maybe there's other builds we can try out. I had a guildmate suggest a vampire build for Theomars. I'd be curious to see how it goes. I do have a second Theomars. So maybe I ruin that one up on vampire and see if it's worthwhile. But I, I just really like the violent aspect of it. Violent Revenge, so RNG heavy for Theo Mars, but when it works, oh, does it work well. If there's any other water units uh, you'd like me to make a video on, I know the most common one will probably be the Water Macaroon Guard, whatever her name is. I don't have one yet. I would love one, so hopefully when I do summons soon, come to us, we'll just throw one my way. Other than that, there are a couple units I do want to look over from this balance patch, so maybe we can expect some showcases from them. I wouldn't say there's some units that have a lot to show, but I'll try to find some ways to make them work. But all right, thanks for stopping by, and I will see you all in the next video. All right, bye-bye, everybody.